Good morning. So here I am. I sound, I feel like I sound just a tad bit, um, like sick in a way. I woke up and my nose was like tapado, like one of my nostrils. And I was like, what the H? And then I started having really itchy, like my top of my throat, allergy stuff. And I feel like I'm starting to get better. I took my allergy pill and stuff, but it's just weird when I wake up like this. It reminds me of when I like, you know, would be paranoid about being sick and I'm like, I'm over here taking ginger shots and stuff and then I'm gonna wake up like this, like, excuse me, the food. But anyways, here is the outfit of the day. Ronaldo, stop licking yourself, cochino. Um, here we are. This is the outfit of the day. She, sheet, <laughs> shirt, dress. This is from Boohoo. I just realized that I show you guys the outfit of the day, but I don't tell you what it, where it's from, so I'm gonna start doing that. So this is from Boohoo. And then we have this like cardigan that I have around my waist that has this here, which I love. That is also from Boohoo. So later on, like when I have to walk to my car later on in the evening, I know it's going to be pretty cold, so I can just take it off and put it on, actually. And then I also decided to put a belt to really just snatch my waist. The belt is from Torrid. The pantyhose are also from Torrid. And then here we have the beautiful boots. They remind me of like Dark Martens, but these are like obviously the shiny and then the lace is actually like a ribbon. So I love that. I love shoes. They're a little bit different. It just kind of helps vamp up the look. But anyways, this is the outfit of the day. Now, let's go. What a freaking morning so far. Waking up feeling like if I was sick. The thing is, I don't feel anything else. It's just that I've been like sneezing and then my nose situation. But other than that, like I've been, I feel fine. Um, I think it's just allergies because, I mean, I'm, I haven't done anything. I've been pretty careful. I even go to sleep very nice and warm. But anyways, I realized because I, ex one time, I forgot when it happened, but maybe like over a year ago, yeah, like a year and a half ago or so, my, I had, I got like a flat tire. Like literally when I got to the parking lot, my flat tire was completely low. My dad said, oh, well, go and get it like air. And I was like, well, how the hell am I gonna get out of this parking lot? But thankfully there was a gas station right like next to the parking structure. So I freaking got out of that parking structure and you know, it was literally flat cause it was hitting the rim. And then one of the guys out there, he was Mexican. He was able to help me and he put air in my tire. But then I was like, you know what? Somebody told me just go through the streets. I went through the streets and my, my, I had a flat tire. So my dad had to drive all the way out here to like help me out. Um, but then, so now I check my tires all the time. But I have to let you go because I'm about to go because one of my tires is actually really, really low. So I'm coming to get it checked because I do not want to have a flat tire or like explode in the freeway, okay? I just finished listening to myself on that podcast that I filmed last night. And basically, it's like an introduction slash Who's Ashley episode. It's 15 minutes long. It's just like to get it going for those who don't know me, who don't watch my daily vlogs, or even if you do watch my daily vlogs, I feel like I've hit some topics, but not like everything. So you might learn something new when you check it out. But I actually had a needle, a needle stuck in my tire. So I'm glad that I freaking went because then by the time that I get off of work, that shit would have been like low, 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 low. And your ass does not have triple A. So I'm glad that I checked it out. I actually called my dad because I remember a couple of weeks ago, our neighbor was like, oh, I found a bunch of needles like here, like just be careful. And I was like, oh, okay. But nothing ever happened. And as soon as I saw that, I thought of her. So I called my dad and I was like, hey, just be careful because I got like a very low tire because I had run over a needle. And he's like, oh my, he got mad because he's like, there's been a lot of needles lately around there. Like, I just don't understand. Like, someone must be putting them on purpose. And I was like, honestly, I don't know if I got the needle from there, like from my house. Like, literally, it's on the entry to my, like, you have to drive through there, obviously, to get inside the house. So I don't know if someone's, like, purposely putting them or what, which is so annoying. Um, but, uh, or I was thinking that maybe I got it, like, on the road. But I don't think so, I think. I don't know why this car stopped literally right here. You have more space to go forward, sir. Anyways, podcast sounds good. I actually got into an argument with my brother last night because I showed him, I like had him listen to the podcast just a little bit and he didn't like the fact that I said some stuff and I told him that I'm not going to have any filter. Like I told him that. So he was like, I'm not going to have any filter. I'm going to talk about my trauma. I'm going to discuss everything that has affected me as a person or has made me the person that I am today. And... He was like, well, are you going to show... Because I said some stuff about my mom. 
He was like, are you gonna show that to our mom? Like, are you gonna show mom that? And I was like, no. He's like, then why are you gonna say something that you're not gonna have, like, have her listen to? And it's because like, I don't wanna, A, start something, and then two, it's the way that I see it is more like, I understand his perspective, because I didn't finish and clarify everything. I'm just kind of throwing, like, it's just a 15 minute broadcast, you know? So I'm just throwing out information, but these are the kind of information that we'll go into detail later on throughout some of the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to sit here and explain every single trauma and explain the situation and then how I clear it up now. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I went through a lot in my life. And if I understand that it can hurt people, whatever I say things, it can hurt. But this is something that happened, something that affected me. And I need to vocalize it. Because to me, I guess my podcast is also going to be kind of like a therapy for me. So, yeah. I took the ginger shot already. I'm really hoping that I'm not getting sick. Like, I'm so effing confused right now. Like, I don't feel sick. But because of the whole, like, nose situation, it throws you off and it makes you think that you might be. But I don't feel sick. Does that make sense? Like, if I'm, I'm just starting to, like... Mess, mess with my head thinking that I am oh my god I'm gonna have something in my eye say when that happens hello driving eye I need you to focus I gave the guy five dollars the one that patched up my tire I don't know how much I was supposed to give him but he didn't give me a price so I just tipped him five dollars I didn't know what else to to give but I did that I was over here trying to come to work out early and look at me Going to work late again. Well, I think the thing is too, it's so hard for me to wake up because I'd be going to sleep at freaking midnight. But at the same time, like, I'm not too upset about it because I was able to, for example, last night film the podcast. And the audio version is good to go. I just need to go ahead and now adjust the audio to the video footage to make sure it, it goes together. And... Um, I'm just, I need to figure out like a, a, a hosting There's like a website that you can find that you can find a host and that host is gonna go ahead and upload your Audio to a bunch of different platforms like Spotify Apple music and so much more <sighs> Whoa. Look at me yawning. Um, yeah, I found one but Apparently there's like ads and I was like, ew, I'm not gonna put no ads in my podcast And then after that you have to do like a monthly payment But the way that their monthly payments work is, is depending on how many hours a month You'd be able to post. So I think one of them was I can't remember I'm just gonna put a number out like let's just say it's six dollars a month But you can only upload two hours worth of podcast a month girl my podcast, I swear, because I mean, that happened only for 15 minutes. I think my podcast, like I said, is going to be anywhere from like 30 to 45 minutes. And the reason why I'm kind of targeting around that time is because I feel like when I listen to podcasts, it's like I'm driving to work, right? So it takes me about that long to get to work. So I'm just listening to a conversation or when I'm coming from work, you know, to home, I'm listening to conversations like that or when I'm getting ready for work or things like that. People take consumer you're cleaning so that's why i want to make them around that long the podcast but there could be a chance when it's lower i just don't want to limit myself i guess i'm supposed to go over here i just don't want to limit myself to that like pay for something and then i pass the hours you know but it goes up like you can add depending how many hours you upload a month your monthly payment goes up too so, from my understanding, there's another whole system that is um, free, that has no charge. So, I would like to investigate what it is. So that your girl don't gotta pay, but if I gotta pay, I gotta pay. But, whatever. Today, I need to get the paperwork started for our new assistant. Today, he's like basically, basically shadowing. And then he used to fill out paperwork, and then I have the nail girl coming in to do a model for manicure and pedicure. I need to text the guy that the nail guy that I was talking about yesterday. 
what else? I can't think right now. <sighs> yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and drink my green juice. I'm really hoping that I get better with my nose situation because I feel like. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But it's like I don't have a headache, but I have a headache, if that makes sense. Like, I just feel, you know when you have just like really bad nose congestion? Like the, that, that pressure that it leaves you right here in your forehead? That's what I'm feeling right now. And it's so annoying. But I can smell and I can taste and I'm not like coughing or none of that. And I hope that it doesn't worsen. So... I just don't want to think about it too much because I'm going to get anxiety about being sick. I just don't want to overthink it. I just woke up like this. I always wake up like this kind of in the mornings. Not like to this extreme. It's been a minute since I've been to this extreme. But even my best friend FaceTimed me and it's like, what is wrong? Are you sick? And I'm like, I just, I literally had just woken up. I was peeing when she FaceTimed me. And I was like, I just woke up. So every single time I just wake up, my nose and like my, my voice is just not in its you know glory <laughs> so but this time i was like i'm not sick but my nose i was like Woof, girl my allergies were in another level thankfully i already took my allergy pill talking about pills i'm gonna go ahead and take my birth control right now and a quick question this is probably really random and gross but so the vitamins that i take i'm almost completely done with them which is fine because after those vitamins i'm just gonna have my regular uh, vitamins that I bought at Costco for hair and growth, I mean for nail and hair growth. And the pills that I'm currently taking that are from Care Of, they personalize it to what you want. Every single time I've taken them, my pee always comes out like this yellow green neon color. I don't know how to explain it, it is the weirdest thing Cause that I know because when I don't take it my pee is just regular and then when I do take them I look and the pee is like freaking yellow green orange I mean orange what yellow greenish neon color I don't know how to explain it it looks so weird I, I don't understand it but okay whatever I also brought uh, so me and Sari were talking about tortillas and oh my god there's a pee -boo. Isn't that illegal, though? Uh, I don't, oh, man. The seatbelt is doing its job. I don't know if you can see the pit bull. Isn't that illegal, though? Technically, for him to have the dog behind. Whatever. But me and Sari were talking about tortillas. Because I told her that I love tortillas de harina. So, harina are the flour tortillas. And now you guys are, like, really zoomed in. The harinas are the flour. So they're the bigger ones. Maize are the ones that are made out of corn. And those, I think I'm saying it right, yeah, corn. And those, senor, you didn't even have your motherfucking blinkers on, you son of a bitch. I was literally about to crash his ass. So annoying. So, thankfully there was nobody behind me that had to, like, freaking break that fast. He, like, literally stopped out of nowhere and decided to turn. There was no blinkers. Anyways. Maize, corn, they're smaller. Those are the ones that most of the time the taqueros have for that kind of stuff. Um, but she told me how she has tried to make tortillas harina and that usually they don't come out very well, that they harden and so. So of course I had to put my girl in and I told her about the fresca tortillas, okay? When I'm telling you that these are bomb AF, I mean literally bomb AF, we stopped up. And I told her, I was like, I would give you some, but I feel like my family will kill me if I give you some. <laughs> she just started laughing. I told my mom about it and she's like, tenemos un montón, dale medio paquete. And I was like, all right, cool. So she has no idea, but I'm gonna give her some. Cause I don't think she's bought them yet. I told her that she can buy them cause she does a lot of Instacart too. So I know if you go, if you do Instacart, you can find them on Instacart or you can find them at Food for Less and sometimes at Costco. Cause last time when we first originally wanted to get them, we couldn't find them at Costco. But um, I found them at Food for Less, and then later on we found them at Costco. If you do try to go to Food for Less and buy them, they're going to be in the fridge area where they have like um, cheese and stuff like that. You'll find it in an open fridge. 
and then if you go to Costco it's gonna be by where the cheese is as well like where the cheese and um, sour cream and all that section is not in the dairy section but in that section um, yeah so that is that I'm excited to give her the tortillas I actually I'm a little sad because I wanted to make myself like a burrito or a quesadilla this morning but I was running late so they can eat and I'm my pinchy ginger shot and me green juice so that's what I'm gonna do right now and I'm gonna let you go because my camera's overheating okay bye it is currently 7 12 p.m. And uh, I think I'm going to call it a night because I would like to edit you and shower and go to bed because I'm actually pretty tired. These last couple of days I've been going to sleep at midnight and then that's why like, I don't want to wake up in the mornings because I'm just so tired. Um, I do feel a tad bit of like anxiety. I felt it today, but like it wasn't, it was like, how do I explain it to you? It was there but it didn't consume me and I didn't let I didn't like think about it as much but I think it was the whole morning situation um because of like my allergies or let's call them allergies but I'm just doing this because I don't know you know like it, it freaks me out I just don't want to get sick again um I don't even know how the F I would have gotten sick. I don't hang out with people. Um, but, yeah. I mean, I think it's just allergies. And I hope that it is. I'm trying to like, keep myself distracted and not to think about anything. I think I just also need some rest. Um, but I think anything I have to do with my, with my health, I get scared. But anyways, I just want to end it because I'm honestly really, really tired. And I have a bad habit. Like, I just ate. I ate, uh... A quesadilla, my mom had made... Did I have something in my teeth? Oh. I had, my mom made um this, like, white rice with carne and papas and stuff. I saved my plate for tomorrow. I was like, oop, here we go. I made some burrito de eso, and I made myself a quesadilla. And uh, I, would, I was just going to start being on my phone, like, being on TikToks. But I was like, I can do this while you guys are processing. And then I didn't want to make the vlog too, too, too long for today. But oh, anyways... I'm going to let you go so that I can, you know, get some sleep soon because I don't know if you guys can tell my eyes. I'm just tired. I want to get some sleep. Pero aquí está Mr. Ronaldo. Me esperó todo el día. Ya nomás. Todo el día el Ronaldo con sus orejitas así, bien bonitas. Mira nomás, Ronaldo. Qué bonito, mi Ronaldo. Ay, ay, ay. He's like, wait, wait. Okay. All right, well, I hope you have a beautiful day, a beautiful night whenever you're watching this. Y si Dios quiere, nos vemos mañana. Bye.